hey guys welcome back i am so bash and we are back with some more paladin strike in this video i want to talk to you guys about the best front line in the game in patch 1.0 now this is in my opinion ruckus is the best front line in the game currently and i want to go over a couple of reasons why i'm kind of like the last one we did i want to actually talk about his abilities first so speaking of abilities let's talk about his basic attack his basic attack is a minigun it's a cooldown of 1.3 seconds and it has a rapid fire minigun that deals 85 damage per shot now if you guys have never looked at ruckus and slow-mo when he shoots i'll give you a little presentation right here ruckus shoots 16 bullets at one time now these are in a very wide pattern so they go back and forth but if you are very close to somebody you're going to hit someone with all of those shots if you hit somebody with all of those shots with base damage that's 1360 damage that's a lot of damage from a front line now not only on top of that he has emitter which is a seven second cooldown that creates an energy shield around itself for three and a half seconds that absorbs 2000 damage now on top of that it also slows enemies that are nearby by 75 percent for those three and a half seconds so he's really good at taking in a lot of damage and avoiding that damage by using that shield and it's not too long of a cooldown his other ability is missile launcher this one use it more as kind of a check bush kind of thing you don't really want to face check a bush so use that if you're afraid to walk into a bush or if you've got them pushed back and you know someone's coming up hit them with that long range missile to begin with get a little bit of poke damage in on them and lastly his best ability of course is his ultimate hexafire now this is activated in two additional miniguns that deal 85 damage each two rocket launchers that deal 450 damage and your movement speed is reduced by 65 percent during hexafire now a, a little tip on this ability try to set this up because it does have an animation to it so if you watch the actual game it'll show you an animation right before he starts to use his ultimate if you see them other guns start to come out make sure you are out of the way of ruckus if not you are going to get wrecked and he's gonna kill you all right so that basically covered his basic attacks and why i think those put him in the front let's talk about his augments and what's actually going to help him so looking at his first ones level one you have an option between a basic attack dealing 20 percent more damage or ability cooldowns reduced by 20 percent now this is kind of a situational type augment you want to really choose if you do not have a lot of damage and you got plenty of heals you can go ahead and pick up that extra 20 percent damage but if you have plenty of heals you got plenty of damage you can go with those ability cooldown reductions to help your team out to be able to pop that shield that emitter shield a lot faster and soak up that damage now for his second ability we have recovery increases by 25 percent or a movement speed increase by 20 percent now obviously if you don't have a healer you probably want some form of recovery but most of the time you're probably going to be going with movement speed increased by 20 percent here that's a pretty simple choice right there now for the next level you have a really tough choice your ultimate charge is 100 percent faster or critical damage increase to 175 percent now i would recommend of course the ultimate charge to 100 faster because his ultimate is so strong it can wipe out an entire enemy team if they just continuously come into it and run right directly at it when you're shooting so i would opt for the ultimate to charge faster there i would only go for the crit damage if i'm going for like you know a, a damage build instead i'm going to use him as a front line all right so next we have level four max health increase by 20 percent or a cc duration by 50 percent now this one's kind of tough because if you do have a lot of cc against you uh for instance someone like pip or someone like maldamba that can fear you or a stun from cassie or things like that you might want to pick up that cc reduction so be aware of what kind of uh champions you're going against it's going to kind of dictate what you want to build into right here uh, but otherwise that max health is pretty nice on him because he's already pretty beefy so extra 20 percent health is never going to hurt and lastly for his last abilities you have a choice between gain 25 percent basic attack damage reduction or gain 40 percent area damage reduction now this is pretty much defense all around so when you get to level five 
depending on like i said team comp that you're going against if you have a lot of champions that have aoe type stuff for instance like towers firebombs you know pips basic attacks things like that um go with that 40 percent area damage reduction because that's pretty much gonna negate a lot of what damage they're gonna be able to do um and if you don't really have a lot of aoe characters going against you pick up that 25 percent basic attack damage reduction that's a pretty huge chunk off their basic attacks and can help you survive big time but um that's gonna be it for this video guys if you have any questions about ruckus feel free to leave them down in the comment section below i know there's a lot more things we could cover and talk about on ruckus like how to perform in certain situations on him and we will get into some stuff like that in some later videos thank you guys so much for watching if you are new here make sure you hit that subscribe button turn your notifications on and leave a like on this video as it does help us out a lot but with that being said folks thank you again so much for watching as always like comment and subscribe i am soul bash and you guys have a nice day